Hello and welcome to this Tuesday's Try It On Tuesday only Travel and Young. And this week you're in a new spot in this house that you've not seen before. It's my little desk for making things. And I want to show you what I've been working on in my free time over the last couple weeks. And I mentioned something about it just a couple weeks ago. If you if you look behind us over here, that's <laughs> one of my recently assembled Christmas gifts. So the essence of Try It On Tuesday is basically to just try things, right? That's It's in the name. Um, and that could be trying food, that could be trying new things to drink, or new experiences, or in this case, learning new things. And I wanted to share one of the things that I've been working on because I've just been trying to find new ways to be creative and learn new stuff. And I gotta tell you, it's been pretty cool working on this little Lego project. And the, the heart of this entire concept of what I've been working on is this right here, which is an uh, Arduino. Um, so if you don't know what this is, it's basically a simple little computer that receives commands from things. And that command could be a, from a switch or a button or it hears a sound or something that gets touched, whatever. And then there's a whole nother set of uh, you know pins in here that then execute and sends commands and transmits something. And that transmission can go to a light or a, a motor that turns a wheel or something like that. Um, and then you can program on the computer um, what you want the inputs to be and those outputs to be. It's pretty basic and it's really cool because there's so much you can do with it. So over Christmas I bought this which is a, a kit that basically has a ton of different things to include one of these. Um, and it has a couple different sensors and lights and I just kind of spent a lot of time trying to play around and learn how um, to, to wire these things so they work. And then to also program to have certain things happen as a result of the program that I've made. And I used to be a computer programmer, so it's really cool to be able to do a little bit of that again, but to also have something physical that you plug in as well, um, that you can physically touch. Um, it's just been a really, really neat thing to do. And so when I got this Lego set, which is sitting right over here for Christmas, um, I was like, boy, this is so cool, it's a guitar, but guitars make noises, so I need to figure out how to make this make a sound. So after going through a bunch of different projects where I learned all the little pieces and how to combine different inputs and outputs together with the Arduino, I then set out to design something that would make my Lego guitar actually play music. Um, and so what I did is you, you basically start, I'm gonna open this up and show this to you. Um, you basically start by wiring things in with what's called a breadboard. And uh, the breadboard can be connected to the Arduino um, with jumper cables from these different inputs or outputs into the breadboard. And then power can come from the Arduino or from a separate power supply if you need to supply power for whatever you want to work, work. And so basically what I designed was pretty simple, but it took chaining together a couple different concepts because I wanted to make it so that when I flipped the switch on the amplifier, it would make a humming noise and then a light would come on like a real amplifier would do. And so that's one thing. And then the next thing is I wanted to make it so when you touched the guitar in a certain area, it would make a sound out of the speaker that's sitting inside of the amplifier in the back. So I first built a prototype with the breadboard and this Arduino here, which is good for prototyping because you don't need to solder anything. You can just plug jumper cables in and it's good to go. After I prototyped everything to make it all work and I tested it, I then needed to get a smaller version of this, in which case I had to actually solder everything together. So I bought a Nano Arduino, um, which I actually had to even solder all the plugs in in order to activate basically all of these different pins which correspond to the pins on the larger one that will receive commands or send commands. So learning this whole thing was really neat. And then I had to buy these proto boards um, to then be able to, you know, put after I soldered this together with the pins, the pins onto this, <clears throat> and then be able to start soldering these all together in order to make my prototype something that was functional in a, in a little bit smaller scale so that I could then stuff it inside the amplifier. And I mean, I, I, it just, you know, being able to chain all these things together was really neat. And it's like you get this feeling of accomplishment, like I made something that works. And it's just, I, I think there's so much good about 
finding creative things to do in order to keep you thinking differently, problem solving. There's all kinds of little problem solving pieces in order to build what I built. And, and it's nothing like super spectacular, but it didn't exist before. And I had to get these pieces and put them all together in order to have something work. I'd also never soldered before. So I had to learn to solder in order to do this. So I had to buy a soldering iron and I got this special light with a magnifying glass so I could see now that my eyesight's going bad, these little pieces that I'm soldering together. And it was just a fun, fun experience in order to make all this work. So let me go ahead and show you actually what this does. All right, so here's all the ugly stuff that I did. This is what I soldered together on the proto board. And uh, it's my first attempt at soldering. So bear with the fact that these wires don't look great, but I think I did an okay job and it actually works. So that's the goal. Normally I would stuff this inside of here so you can't even see it along with the speaker. But what happens here is when I flip this switch, you can hear a slight little amp hum and you see that red light that indicates that the amplifier is on. And then if I touch with this touch sensor on the guitar right here, a little bit of force. It's playing a little bit of a guitar riff there. So I got like four or five different little ones and I put them on the little MP3 card that I also had to solder onto here, which is uh, in a little memory card. And there's this MP3 module here and I just have it randomly select from one of those four every time you press the guitar. And then if I flip the switch, it all turns off just like an amplifier would. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different Traveling Young Trot on Tuesday. I'm trying to to learn new things and do different things. And I wanted to share some of that with you. And I thought this was interesting because it combined this Arduino stuff that I've been learning that I think is really cool. And I would highly suggest playing around with this stuff. It's not that expensive. Um, links in the description below are there for the kits and all the different sensors I had to buy that wasn't in the kit. They're Amazon affiliate links, by the way. So just know you're supporting us if you click one of them and buy something. But that's all the stuff that I bought from Amazon in order to make this work. Um, and it's just so neat to, to build something. I have all these ideas of other things that I want to do. So some of them I'll just do for myself, some maybe on the channel. We'll see how it all works out. Um, but I also think if you're a parent, get these for your kids. I wish I could have had something like this when I was a kid because it's so fun to just come up with new ideas of things to build. And now I'm like salvaging parts from old electronics that I'm not using anymore to see if there's motors I can use for something. It's just so cool to be able to do this stuff. So I wanted to share with you a slightly different try on Tuesday where I had tried to learn something new and was able to build something, which is my now modified Lego guitar that I got at Christmas. Thanks. I'll see you later.